Campfire question. Is it recording? Yeah. Oh, okay, sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Do it again. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you hit the record button. Campfire questions where we answer your questions about life, the universe, and and RV camping. RV camping. Today's question is from Tammy Tabor, who says, "Hello, Loloho." Question: You state in this video to empty your water tank, but in a different video you state to fill it because you don't want water sloshing around when you tow. So which do you recommend? Thanks, love your video. Thank you, Tammy. Uh, we should clarify this point, okay? Because yeah. it's a really good towing question. And it has to do with the state of your water tank before you take your rig out onto the highway. Mm -hmm. And our position is that tank should be either empty or full. Because, you know, what happens when you have a half empty or half full water tank mm -hmm. uh, in your RV is that water gets to sloshing Slosh. around when you're traveling mm -hmm. down the highway. And then when you slosh, your trailer gets going like this, and then your trailer will be like this. So I'm getting sick <laughs> walking this. So you really don't want that that water sloshing around in there if you can help it you know and, and some people have asked well don't these rv water tanks have baffles inside them to prevent the water sloshing around i think the answer is apparently no they don't have baffles <laughs> because baffles would cost more money so we typically fill up our water tank to full before we take our rig onto the highway because you never know when you're going to get stranded on the side of the road and you need to go to the bathroom. Plus, we have a <laughs> big honking diesel truck, and I'm not so much worried about the total weight of our rig because right. our truck is plenty strong to tow our rig and then some. I think Seymour could tow 15,000 pounds, mm -hmm. and our rig is about half that. Mm -hmm. So uh, a little extra water is not a big deal to us. In other words, if you're at the limits of your tow vehicle's towing capacity, then you'll want to empty that water tank because water's very heavy. It weighs, I think, over eight pounds a gallon. Never know what you might find under a rock. And there was much rejoicing. So in our case, if we have 54 gallons of water in our airstream, it translates to about 500 pounds of weight. I'm impressed with your math skills there. Well, <laughs> also our trailer may actually tow better with a full freshwater tank. That's because the tank lies directly above the axles. So a full freshwater tank means that all of that water weight is pressing down on the axles, keeping the trailer more firmly planted to the asphalt. It's a good question, Tammy, and we wanted to clarify that point. What do you think? Yeah, chime in and let us know what you do when you roll out of a campground or when you leave home with your rig. Do you tow with it empty or full or? Do you even care? You know, it, it's not the end of the world if your water tank is half full, because there are times when we're traveling around, and if we've been using the water and boondocking for a few days, ours might be half full. Uh, I think if you're towing somewhere flat or on a straight road, you're not really going to notice. It's when you start the up and down and the side to side roads. And if there's a stiff cross really, breeze. Yeah, that's when you really are going to feel it. Or this, yeah, stiff crosswind. You know, that's when you're going to feel that water really get sloshed around. Yeah, in fact, they say, whoever they are, <laughs> that trailer sway is the number one cause of trailer accidents. Mm -hmm. So I don't know who's out there ranking causes of trailer accidents. I'm sure Probably, there's some insurance yeah, guy somewhere. There's an actuary somewhere. Mm -hmm. And trailer sway is very dangerous. So that's why we make this recommendation about your water tank. That's it. Be safe out there. Quick, easy campfire question. If you have a campfire question you want to ask Long Long Honeymoon, this is your chance. Yeah. Post a question in the comments. We're always scanning those comments for nuggets of brilliance. Yep. 
So leave, leave a nugget below. <laughs> if you're new to our YouTube channel, please subscribe. It's just good karma. It is. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so they can get in on all of the long, long honeymoon goodness. Until next time. La la ho. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. Feel free to leave a comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. My first take was much better. <laughs>